Hey, my name is Jason. Uh, my family and I have been coming to Restored uh, just under two years. So we first uh, originally came to Restored because we were looking for a church that had people uh, our kind of age and life stage. Um, we left a church that was uh, a little little older. It was more. Uh, it was my parents' church, and I wanted to go out and kind of strike out on my own and and find my own group. Um, Shortly after coming, we ended up. I ended up getting involved in uh, a Thursday night men's group, and um, that's kind of where it started. Uh, I started really leaning into church activities. Um, I, we ended up getting baptized here shortly after that, uh, both me and my wife. And she's been in community groups since then. And now that brings me to today, where uh, I'm I'm leading one. Uh, community for for me has been it's been the center of, of my, my church life. Um, Sunday mornings were great, but uh, for me, I found by Wednesday, I was really running out of fuel. And um, you know, the, the, the community groups throughout that period of my life were really uh, life giving to me. Um, it, it wasn't just that uh, I, I couldn't read the Bible on my own or pray on my own, but it's doing those things together with people that, um, that understand they're walking through the same things that you are and they've been through the same things that you are experiencing um, and you know having that that tangible person in front of you to look at you and say hey I get that that's really terrible I'm sorry you're going through that and how can I pray for you um, that that has been truly transformative in my life and I've, I've seen that in the lives of others around me as well so for me um, Turning, going from an attendee to a leader of a community group, um, it, it wasn't really a huge change as, as you might think. I was approached by Pastor Tim Morris to um, co-lead a, a group on Tuesday nights. Um, he had everybody already lined up who he wanted to invite. All I had to do was show up and read from this card. And um, I, I said, sure, I mean, whatever, whatever you think is good, I'll do it. Um, Fast forward a couple months later, I met a lot of these people in my community group for the first time. Um, some I had interacted with on Sunday mornings and uh, others I had never seen before. Um, but through the course of that time, I became closer to those people than I have with many of the other friends um, all throughout my, my life. Um, we have shared things that um, most people don't openly offer. Um, it, it's been, it's been truly transformative. We study the Word of God and we pray for one another. And through those experiences, you really come together um, around this, this shared um, worldview, and you feel safe with these people. You can talk about things that that you wouldn't necessarily talk to other people uh, about. Um, and it, it, it's just been. It's, it's been amazing. I think I have benefited more from this group than, than many of the people that are attending as, as the leader. It's, it's been absolutely the, the keystone of my week that uh, my wife and I, we look forward to it every single week. Yeah, so the hardest part about starting is starting. Um, the, the thing is, when you come to these places, everybody there is on the same team. Um, there, there is no better place if you're new to the faith or if you're new to a group, there's no better place to really feel the heartbeat of Restored than in these community groups. We're all there together to read the Word of God and to pray for one another and to lift each other up. And um, nobody there is going to shun you or push you out. Everybody is there for the same reason. They love God and they want to love each other. So. Um, if you're hesitant about, about going there, if you're hesitant about making that first step, I'm telling you, it's everybody here has been incredibly welcoming. They're, they, they love God and they love each other, and there's, there's, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain.